oops, with a wobbly camera. Hello, just bear with me a second. I've just realized my camera is too low and I need to adjust my stand. There we go. Probably need to mute my camera. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Heather. this morning hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are and whatever you are up to today uh, as part of the online show we are we've got some fantastic specials on nataliemay.com.au and today we have got 15% off of Tim Holtz products, 15% off of stencils and 15% off of Lindy's products, as well as some other amazing specials available. Um, so jump online and have a bit of a look. Um, sorry, I just put a mint in my mouth, which was terrible. But today I thought I would do, start the morning with a little art journal page, something a bit interactive and a bit fun in my Dina Wakely craft journal. And what I thought I would do is I have got here a packet of these open, the Tim Holtz paper dolls. These are the portraits and I seem to have an awful lot of these open actually. I'm not quite sure why. And I, and I thought I would do a bit of a, a page with something a little interactive. I don't like him. I do like her. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. We are planning up a storm here, doing all sorts of bits and pieces here in the studio. Um, if we get that guy in there. Let's see if I can swap him out. So Tim Holtz products today, being 15% off, does include um, their ide his ideology pieces such as the, the paper dolls, the metal bits and pieces. I did a little bit of a walk through this morning showing you a few things that are on special. Um, the idea that I have in my head this morning <laughs> is to cut a bit of a window sort of situation. Now... This is, in theory, an excellent idea. Practice, maybe not so much, um, but we'll give it a whirl anyway. So what I'm going to do is just draw some lines on here that I can rub out later. And then... I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. I don't think that's straight, but that's okay. Now, half of 15 is seven and a half. So I want to go about there and about there. Getting a bit warm, Lou. Trying to put the aircon on. Oh, this is getting warm. Are you, do you want the aircon? Oh, yeah, no, I'm super keen for the aircon. Right. Super keen. We've got a very warm 38 degrees here in Radelaide today. 
Um, which could have, you know, done without. 22, so 11, yeah, so you may, be, may as well be inside crafting with me. I'm going to do a bit of a fat bit through the middle. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut these little windows out. And to do that, I have a self-healing mat here, a metal ruler, and a nice amount of coffee on board. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple by cutting all of my verticals first, and then I'm going to turn my journal and cut my horizontals. So I'm using my Ulfa craft knife. This is my go-to craft knife. Oh, I have to apologise. If anyone saw last night's live Facebook, I, did, I was talking about the fantastic art by Marlene special effects paint and the back and I was demonstrating on the back of my hand that it dries with glitter well because it's acrylic paint it's actually stayed on all overnight so now I've got this super gross wrinkly hand um, but the acrylic paint has showed up beautifully uh, and has held quite nicely apparently So I've got a back of my hands all sparkly this morning. Oh, damn it, I did do that. Radio. So I'm going to go for an easy interactive page. Interactive pages seem to be super popular at the moment. So let's just, I just thought I'd show you that they are not difficult. The trick is to make sure that you have got a cutting mat underneath and that you just take a second to mark out where you're going to cut. Now I'm using a nice amount of pressure and I have snapped off a new blade so that my blade is nice and sharp and it's going through pretty much on the first cut, which is nice. Now, coming down into this side, I do need to turn my journal because my hand works a certain way when I'm cutting and I do need to adapt to that. There we go. So your interactive pages can be as complex or as simple as you like. Good morning, D. So now I'm going to do my vertical strokes this way, my vertical cuts. And I thought, now this, this actually at about 11.30 last night, I thought this was an excellent idea. So, um, you know. Whether or not it translates today will be a completely different thing. But, you know, got to commit to it now that I've started it. Morning, Susan. And I'm going to turn my journal to go this way to make sure that I get that cut on this side nice and straight.
And this was all I had really thought about. I've got no idea, no idea what else I'm going to do on the page. Um, but I thought this would work great. So this has only taken a couple of moments to do. And the good thing about it is, is I have used nice, easy, straight lines. So let's have a look and see if all my cuts went through. So I'm just going to... Oh, I could make them windows. <gasps> oh... Let's make them windows. All right, so that's still going to go there. Look at me thinking on my feet or on my bottom. That one will go there. And I can see that cut hasn't gone all the way to the edge. Oh, yeah, beauty. Okay, I do love the idea of going with a window sort of situation. So, how do I adapt to that, to what I've done? I shouldn't have cut all the way through, but I'm going to make it work. But, I need to cover my pencil marks because I can't, I can't reach my eraser. Oh, yes, I can. Nearly. So I'm just going to rub out some of these lines. And I do like, I'm going to go for a bit more of an earthy sort of vintage style page. So I'm not too fussed about adding too much paint and prettiness. I'm going to age it with some collage paper, some book paper, some stamping and some stenciling. Right, let's work on this page first and stick these flaps back on again. Uh, stick these flaps back on again with some, let's start with double sided tape. I've got the Altenew double sided tape. Now this of course is a transparent tape, just your normal double sided tape, but this is a super heavy. So I'm thinking that I want to use some collage paper to kind of cover my joins and play with this whole creating a bit of a seam. Uh, so let's go with, I'm going to cut some strips and I'm going to do it just by tearing so that I'm almost essentially making my own washi tape. Now this doesn't tear very well on that angle. So let's pivot. But it does tear beautifully on this. There we go. Oh, and then it hits the floor. Yeah, like that. So that's going to cover that edge. All right. Overthinking. Morning, old Kerry Ann. Yes, thank you for presenting your note for being late today. I'm going to go straight in here like that. Just cut these little bits off. And then this is going to fit nicely back into here. Keep that handy. little bits of tape floating around now and I'll do the same thing here right let's I seem to be complicating this this morning perfect I like the windows I think people popping through windows is going to work 
it beautifully in my head. Like that and like that so that covers that up nice and then I'm going to work on collaging in and around here so you can kind of get the gist of what I'm up to here I'm going to do another piece around a similar sort of width Oh, I look away from the screen and everybody's up for a chat this morning. Okay. You're having internet problems this morning. I think maybe because everybody's kind of taken a bit of a day off. The internet usage around Australia is probably at an absolute peak. Alright, so I'm going to cover that tape up with that bit of collage paper. So using that, that, heavy, that heavy tape... The book binding tape, the um, from Altenew, has created an extra strong seam there where I decided at the last minute to make those an interactive flap, and that's fine. I mean, this might not work. This might just be another one of those excellent ideas that was great in my head. And then actually executing it uh, is always an added bonus. So this Tim Holtz collage paper is wonderful. I do love that it's lovely and thin. It's got that beautiful antique feel to it. And I've essentially created like a little bit of a washi tape sort of situation. And I can do the same thing in here, which I will do with a roll of random washi tape. Because it's on the back of the page, I am not that fussed about how it looks. But it's going to give it that extra little bit of strength coming down like that. Now, something to remember about washi tape. It quite often needs a little bit of extra adhesion underneath it and I really should have put some double-sided tape down first because washi tape is not not permanent it is a low tack tape so keep that in mind if you want to stick something down on a permanent basis with washi tape it's probably not going to work but for the time being and for today's purposes this is what is going to work for me. Right, so now I've got some little windows and I'm just cutting that seam with my knife. Don't, 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 come on. Now, safety disclaimer, when you're using a knife with a fresh blade on it, just be aware that it's going to be sharp. And I'm just thinking about that as my fingers go in the wrong spot there. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to have a little bit of a collage of some of these other little bits and pieces. So I've created these little doors. Oh, see, that didn't stick down on the other side. And I should have used that really thick Altenew tape. That will teach me. Right. So now I want to collage on here. So let's do it the easy way. And I'm going to collage with, I'll do it with gel medium so that it's going to stick down really well and I've got a few other different 
ones here. So let's just jump right in and go like this. Throw it in here. Let's. Let's commit. So I'm just going to work on this little window just like that. Give it a really good coverage. And I'm going to pop down some strips of collage paper and really quite cover that. Go back over with my brush. And I love this collage paper. Like I said it, say it again, say it again, say it again. I can trim them off after. So working in a craft journal. The craft journal is fantastic because it's got that really thick, heavy paper. Love that. And it's got that really unique, rustic sort of feel to it as well. So I can just trim these off now. Trim off there. Trim off there. Would be better to wait till they're dry, but you know, can't really do that on live Facebook, can I? So I'm just going to commit to it. Same thing again over on this side. Let's let's fill those gaps. Oh, slightly different one I've picked up there of my scraps, but I'll go back to this roll. And I've got the fan on and I've got stuff blowing everywhere here. There we go. Stick down. Gel medium. I'm using the Dina Wakely gel medium today. That is my, my go-to. It's giving me a really lovely finish and it's drying with a matte finish so it's not too shiny. I'm just going to trim that off and I'll come back and trim that later. So collage paper, of course, is super thin and quite often transparent. So if by me just going over, at, well, if I change my colour palette, like I nearly did a moment ago, it just would have looked a bit strange. Uh, so I'm trying to stick with a similar colour palette. Some of them have got a lovely white base to them. Some of them have got this sepia sort of finish, which is nice. And in this lovely warm day, it's not taking long for this to dry. What are you smirking at, Miss Louise? So oh, I've got a couple of gaps there. All right. So when this is dry, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to trim this down. I will be getting. I think I'm going to add some washi tape down this centre as a bit of contrast and to help stick it all down. Um, all right, so there we go. We've got our little doors covered now. Some of it pretty badly, but that's working. Um, I'm not going to wet this. I'm just going to wrap my gel medium... Oh, baby wipes everywhere. Gel medium brush in a, a damp baby wipe because I don't really want to add water and I think I'm still going to use it again. So just wrap, wrapping it like this will stop it from drying out. And let's just hit it with the heat gun, dry it off. 
and get in and trim it down. You know what, I might, after I trim it, maybe a good stencil, a nice stencil might be a go. I've got some Tim Holtz stencils here that are gonna work a treat. Pulled a couple off the shelf, which had a bit of a play with. Trim. Trim. It's a collage paper from ear to ear. That's really frustrating. Just tear on the edge. Okay, I'm just going to leave that just as it is for the moment because what I'd like to do is just turn the page and work on the inside. So working on the inside, I want to do a little bit of a guide with my pencil, with my doors open as to where my portraits are going to sit. So these will, will open up. And there we go. So these are the four areas where my portraits are going to sit. Let's have a look and see how well, if I have spaced that out nicely. One. I want her up the top here because she's looking that way. And I had... I think he needs to go there and she needs to go there. So theoretically, we can open our windows and see our people. I'm gonna to have to add some repairs to this, that's annoying me. And that is that perfect example of showing you what happens and that you need to stick down washi tape properly. All right, so this is where my people need to go. Let's add some something to the background first before doing that. So I'm gonna call this one Man one, lady two, three, four for positioning. And let's get something down on this background. A bit of colour perhaps. How about a bit of paint? Paint, paint, paint. I've got... Some sage. I want to keep it a fairly natural, in a natural sort of style. I don't want to add too many foreign colours to this, so I want to keep it pretty neutral. So I'm going in with some desert sand and a thick brush. Now desert sand is very much like craft. Um, now I have not put down any gesso, any clear gesso, anything at all and it's because the craft paper makes it quite thirsty. So I'm now going to go in with this other colour and you can see how quickly that's soaking in. So this is sage and I'm keeping my lines here that I can still see and I'm going to be, whoops that's a bit much, Getting that colour on and I'm just going to layer up some paint. 
before I get some stenciling on, I think. A little bit of syrup. Let's try syrup. Syrup's one of Dean Wakeley's newer colours, and it's a bit, um, it's quite a vintagey sort of <laughs> baby poo. Doesn't, that's not a good description of it. It's a syrup colour. It's like maple syrup. But it's quite a lovely earthy sort of tone that's working in nicely here. And I think I need to finish this off with mineral. For a bit of lightness. Yes. And with a dirty brush, that's actually come up quite nicely. Welcome to everybody who's just tuned in. I am making a interactive art journal page very quickly and very easily using my Dean Wakeley products, Dean Wakeley journal, Tim Holtz products. Uh, I'm going to be adding some stenciling and some stamps in a moment. Okay, a bit of lightness there, that's working. I am going to cover this up, I'm not too phased about that. And then I've got this lovely earthy colour. All right. I'm not worried about this side. That's a totally, uh, total afterthought. Welcome, welcome, Linda. The lovely Linda Pearson, one of our brand ambassadors, has joined us this morning. That's annoying. And you can see that this dry brush technique of, of putting the brushing the paint on has um, worked out quite nicely. It gives a really rough sort of finish and there's a nice amount of colour on there. All right, let's have a look at some of these stencils. I've got a few Tim Holtz stencils that I've pulled off the shelf. I'm going to start with this one here. I really like this. This is called... doesn't have a name. <laughs> And I'm just going to commit to it. Right. So on my mat, I'm going to, you know what? Let's put some Lindy's over this. Let's spray some Lindy's. I have got Golden Doubloons Lindy Spray. Giving it a really, really good shake. Today are uh, on special. Dye based spray. So, oh, that's nice. This is putting a really beautiful gold over the top here of everything. <gasps> yeah, baby. And then I'm just going to flip it and stamp that straight bang in the middle to mix things up. So there's no reason why I can't use a Lindy spray over the top of acrylic paint. It is a perfect match. Now, I don't know that that's showing up as well on camera as I would like it to, um, and that's okay. Let's just go with it, but it has a beautiful sheen, and you can see here where I've stamped. Use that stencil as a stamp. Now, I actually reckon, I do believe, while that's drying, I'm gonna grab a black spray or a darker color. Garden, fairy garden green? No, that's green. Oh, green. Oh, one moment. Every colour under the sun.
também. Do you want to just continue? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't find the colour. I just wanted something a little darker on my edges. Um, sorry about that. And when you've got like 300 Lindy's to go through, or whatever the ridiculous number is, um, I wanted a dark colour. So that's what I was looking for. I've got like a dark brown here. And I want to pop a little bit of dark brown up on these edges just to give it that depth. That's what it needs. When I think I'm organized and then I realize I need something, that's always the way. I'm just going to stamp that and stamp that. And it has made a difference, all of that fluffing around in there. I apologize about that. Radio. So, Lindy's and acrylic paint. Beautiful. Now, you can use any Lindy spray over an acrylic paint. They do really work quite well. And because I haven't got a gesso on my background in my journal, it's soaked in really nicely. So I do need to dry this off before I add the next step, which will be a little stamping and then my people. Dry, dry, dry. My page has gone a little curly, so let's just give that a bit of a boom. All right, let's talk about stamps. Tim Holtz stamps are fantastic. This particular stamp is called Ticket Booth, and the code is CMS337, in case Louise was writing that down. And I just want to add these lovely little images in and around oh, I've got stuff everywhere bless you bless you bless you bless you <laughs> finish now okay so I'm going to use black archival ink and these great little tickets in and around my page now because I have got stamped sorry I've got Lindy's it's going to come in really quite nice and subtle. Are you going to demo that stamp? I am going to demo that stamp, Lou. As in style? Correct. So you will find this particular stamp that I'm using with no further discounts very soon in our demo section. And I'm just going to add a few of them around the place like that. A little bit of off stamping. So I'll try and clean them the best that I can. But it is a used stamp. I do have my mixed media sparkle hand lin. Yes, I did have not washed that off this morning properly. Don't judge me. You wouldn't judge me though, Lynn. All right, you can see what's happening here. Love this. These little tickets are fantastic. All right. And I'll just do one more quickly. So black archival ink over the top of this is your best option so then you know that it's going to have that nice permanency to it you're going to get a nice crisp subtle image so i'm just going to let those sit there let's have a look at our our people what have we got here here's number four and of course i've covered up my bloody marks now haven't i sorry i've covered up my marks so i'm gonna to have to go back in again and open my windows and do some little pencil. I'm going to get a dark pencil. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to stick these straight down. 
because I just need to commit to it. Just commit to it. So this is man number four. We shall call him Roger. And I've got glue everywhere. Roger's going here. Stick Roger. Then I have got, I don't know, let's call her Marjorie. She looks like a Marjorie. And I'm just using the art glitter glue on the back. Lining them up. Then I have got this guy here. He looks like a Harold. Don't you think? Mr. Harold here can go, oh, it's got a lot of glue going on. And where is my last lady? Oh, here she is. Oh, what's her name? Edith. Let's call her Edith. That's a lovely name. And we shall line Edith up here. So I'm just waiting for that glue to catch. Okay, so now they're lined up beautifully. I'm going to pop that down there close that up and have a look and see what's going on back on this page here. I think this page now needs some paint and some sprays now that I've made a decision what's happening on that inside page. So let's start with a little paint. Dry paint brush. Alison's just commented saying, good to see you're doing something I've never thought to do, spraying Lindy's through a stencil onto paint. So yes, there's no reason why you can't do that. There's no rules. Of course you can do that, love. Absolutely. So I'm gonna go back in with this desert sand to start with, and I'm putting a little over my collage paper as well, and around the page. Not too much, but I'm gonna spray, and I'm going to stencil again. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this sage in a few spots. Now the cool thing about this is, with the amount of paint that I am using, I'm not covering up any of this collage paper. It's uh, still coming through, except for that's an excessive amount of paint. But you know, it should be right. Put the lid back on. And I'm just taking a little bit of excess off with my hand. So now I've got that same colour, the lovely syrup, which goes very, very nicely in this journal. And using a dry brush and taking all of that paint off the brush is enabling me to uh, to spread it around and and not have any brush strokes as such. It's giving me more of a feathered finish, which is quite nice. What was that big sigh for, Louise? Because I'm just talking to the air conditioner. Talking to the air conditioner. Is it having a moment? Get that aircon on, done. So some of these lighter colours here, which is this mineral, and with a dirty brush it fits in quite nicely. That makes me happy. And let's get some sprays on there again. So we've got that stencil. And I'm going to give this a spray.
and a stamp. So now it has a shimmer. But this time I'm not going to give it any depth. It's going to have a slight difference from that inside and there's not going to be any stamping on this either. That would have been great if I'd stuck it down properly, but that's okay. Because I'm going to doodle around my frames around and create some little, little doodling. So Lindy's sprays are 15% off. Tim Holtz products are 15% off. Uh, and that does include distress oxides and distress inks uh, and refills as well. We have got stencils today at a discounted price and that is for today only. Rightio. Now, this side here, I will spray that and finish that off off camera. I don't need to do that on camera today. I've decided. Um, so what happens now is I can open my windows and I've got my ladies and my gentlemen coming through. Like so. And I'm just going to add some little bits and pieces, some details under here so that they're not just floating. So I thought I might give them... So Linda has linked the Lindy's products and she's linking all the products that we are using, um, which is fantastic. So uh, make sure that... Oh, you know what I need? I need the snarky words. Um, Linda's got to link all of the products that we are using so that you can see them easily and you can find all of those products. Um, a little bit of, oh, okay, okay. So how about, let's commit to this with a bit of glue all the way across. I'm going to fold and add some collage paper. So all the, all the products that we are using today, you will find all of the links in the comments. So please take a moment if you're looking for something and hopefully I will also get some time to add some further links as well when I post a finished page. So I'm just going to kind of squish it and scrunch it a little so they've got this lovely little finished look to them and I'm just using a little bit of glue just to adhere that straight down to my page so I don't have any loose edges and I'm just kind of folding it a little as I go so that it sits quite nicely I like it and I'll do the same thing across the bottom All my other pieces flew away. Let's just commit, go straight in there with the glue. And now I go back over the top and kind of create a bit of a fold, a bit of a shuffle, a bit of a scrunch, if you're a scruncher or a folder. Oops, a bit too much glue there. Just folding all of that up there. So I'm going to do another live Facebook today at 10, no, at 1.30. And this afternoon, I was going to have a little bit of a play with some Distress Oxides and some stencils. So uh, make sure you tune back here at 1.30 Adelaide time for that. Right. Done, done, done. So now I'm going to put some little, some little phrases on here. Now, are they snarky ones? No, these are just the small talk. 
I don't have the snarky ones handy. So I'm going to just go with some of these. Together is a the best place to be. Happiness depends on ourselves. Damn bloody right it does, people. Bit of do what you love down there. Bit of live your life. And now they're not just floating heads. They are anchored with statements. When you know better, you do better. Pencil sharpener. Don't have it handy. All right, so now our, our people just need a little shadowing in and around. I like to do this just to give them, and I'm just doing it with a pencil, with my Stabilo pencil. I'm not activating it, I'm just giving them like a bit of a shoulder, shoulder shadow there all on one side. Happy days. All right, we're cracking in on an hour. So I like that but it does need a border. I'm all stuck, I'm all stuck, yes. So I've got my black, fine, life of colour pen and I'm just doing a freehand border all the way around. I do love the stamps in the background on this um, and I don't know that it's photograph it was showing very well on camera but it does look very good. Okay. I'm going to pop that in there and open up here and finish this page off quickly. I feel the need to stick that down, that's annoying me. Now I wasn't going to add any stamping on here but I think, I think I'll add a couple and then do a bit of a black pen doodle situation. I really like these stamps, you know. a different one on each door and then finish them with a black doodle frame to show that they're a door because at the moment there's no indication on here that they are an openable window openable you know openable can open, can open. too big? Probably. Now I have to add more. Sorry guys. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, I'll 
pop those aside, put the lid on. Now I do need to do this on an angle because of the glare that I get off my, my lighting, so I apologise for that. But what I, think, what I need to do now is a little bit of a freehand outline to frame my page. Now if you like this and would like to try doing something like this, you can jump online and have a look in our show specials category because we have numerous classes available, discounted on special, especially for the show. And um, and there are classes that I have done over the last couple of years and we have discounted those down to 19.95 as a show special. And what happens with our online classes is that you get added to a private Facebook group and you have unlimited access to this class, which means that you can do it at your own pace. It's filmed live and then you can go back and watch it, you can pause it, you can mute me. I think I need to do a line down there. You can rewind it if you miss a bit or if you can't catch up, you can do all of those sorts of things. So Linda's just popped the link to the specials in the, uh, in the comments there. Although if you do decide to sign up for a class and you currently use a different name on Facebook to your actual name, you do need to let me know this. Um, if you use your cat's name or your pet's name or your maiden name, I do need to know this information because uh, I can't add you to the group or accept your request to join the group unless I know who you are. I know it makes sense, but you know. Okay, that works for me. I do want to add a little bit of a tab here, I think, so that the doors open easily. And I'm going to do that using another random piece of washi tape and I've got some brown all and creates washi tape here that I've had for forever and a day and I actually like the idea of popping a brad through ooh that's an idea maybe no you see that's too white isn't it um, Louise, could you grab me some seam binding, please? I have got stuff from ear to ear at the moment. All right. So seam binding is a like a crinkle ribbon. Tim Holtz uses it a lot. Um, he has been using it for years. You can colour it to any colour that you like. Um, the white or the off white? I just want that. And it is just this beautiful ribbon. Now the really cool thing about this is you can colour it to anything that you like. And especially with Lindy's, it works a treat. So if I spray this in this beautiful golden doubloons and dirty fingers, and then quickly dry it, I have now made a piece of ribbon that's gonna work perfectly on this page. And it's actually gonna dry with a little bit of a crinkle as well, which is that added bonus. And then I'm going to cut this up to make a little handle on each one of these little flappy bits. Come on. Heat gun's hot, don't forget. <sighs> cutting it in half, cutting it in half again and again. So seam binding is available by the meter. 
So if you want to purchase some, you can grab that online at nodalymay.com.au. And I'm going to pop a hole in with my paper piercer. And I've got a couple of brads, a couple of split pins. Now, how big do I want that to be? I really don't need that much, do I? Probably that much. Put a hole in my ribbon. Put my brad through. Sorry, I just realised I was doing that off camera. My apologise. I apologise. So that's going to go there. Cut a little slit. So I also sell these little brads as well. Um, and oh, look at that. Perfect. Except for. And I'm going to loop that there. Come on. See, look at that. Didn't stick it down properly. Oh, I've got a little handle. Look at that. That's very clever. Come and look at my little handle, Louise. And pretend to be impressed. It does look good. She can't hear me. She's picking all your orders. Or she's choosing to not hear me. There. Same thing. Open the pin on the other side and I will trim that off and I have a second handle. Um, what time is it? Oh, cool. Okay. Right, there we go. So this, this 11 o'clock last night came to me to a certain extent, not the whole thing, but you get the gist of it, and I'm glad it has all worked out. But I do, I will fix up the back of this um, before I photograph it because the washi tape has not secured my flaps. Yeah, I was asking for you to come and have a look at how impressive I am, except for that bit. Look, I made little handles. They look like suitcases. They look like suitcases. There you go. That one's a bit small, but let's go with that. Little suitcase handles. Oh, bugger. Let's, let's commit, right? Just commit. In there. Find the hole. It's a child, it child suitcase, that one. It's a kid's suitcase. Oh, oh that's a bit tight. It's a little handle. Shit. Booze. Shivers. That's all right. Shivers me timbers. All right, that'll do. That'll well, be fine. How often are you going to open it? Oh, look, I'm going to open it every day, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works. It's like an advent calendar. Without the advent or the calendar. <laughs> Right. The mess here is disgusting. Radio. End result. What's behind the windows? What's behind the windows? That oh. That lady. That man. Oh, that lady. Have you not stuck your tape. And that on? man. No, I used washi tape, and I really sh I. I, when I did it, yeah, I, I should have it. said that you need to use this heavy duty alternate. And I'm going to fix this up off camera in a moment. But I really love this. This has worked. Um, <laughs> this has worked quite well. I'll bring it up to camera for you to have a bit of a look. <laughs> love my honesty. Yeah, no. The, the honesty can. <laughs> I'll shut up. Okay, so here we go. We've got that stamping on top. You can see the shimmer. 
of the Lindy's over the top of the acrylic paint. We've kept with that really, what are you laughing at? People's comments. People's comments. Um, we've got that lovely shimmer. We've got the acrylic paint underneath. We've kept that vintage style. You can see where I've shuffled, shuffled and scrunched that collage paper through the middle so that these heads aren't just floating. I've added some lovely little quotes there from the Tim Holt stickers. Lots and lots of little bits and pieces there. And then, of course, I'm going to go in and fix up this side in a moment. Radio, I love that. All my doors open. Um, and that rocks my world. There you go. So thank you very much for watching. Um, and like I have mentioned, you can find all of the links for the products that we used, including the Lindy sprays, the journal, the words, the inks, the paints, everything you'll find back through the comments and you can have a bit of a scroll through. Uh, we have got 15% off of stencils today. We have got 15% off of Tim Holtz products and Lindy's products today. So that is for today only. And if you've already placed an order over the last 24 hours and you want to add to your order, just make sure that you've already paid shipping once and then you can add to your order after that just by selecting no judgment at the checkout. All right, so we will sit, oh, there's that piece. Um, we will certainly look after you uh, at the checkout and make sure that we get your orders out to you next week. If you live locally, your order will be ready for collection from the Super Studio from Wednesday. Uh, your order won't, will not be uh, ready sooner than that. So we look forward to seeing you all online at nataliemay.com.au. We've got some exciting things planned for you over the next 24 hours and I look forward to seeing you back here at 1.30 for another live Facebook. I look forward to chatting to you then. See ya.